Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'm going to be covering with you how to combine different tabs from an Excel workbook into a new Excel workbook in a method that's dynamic. Additionally, we'll cover how to combine separate Excel files into a new Excel file, again, in a way that's dynamically updated. It's important to note for this example today that all the column headers and columns within each of the tabs and workbooks are the same. Let's jump in. On the left, I have my original Excel file with the two tabs I wanna combine for January and February sales. And on the right, I have my new Excel workbook. To combine these tabs and any future tabs we might add, on the Data tab, we're gonna to go to Get Data, select From File, and then From Excel Workbook. Here, we'll select the file we're gonna combine and click Import. On the Navigator dialog box, you can select either one of the tabs and we're gonna click Transform Data. That'll open up the Power Query Editor where there's some additional steps we need to take. On the right-hand side, you can see the applied steps that Excel has taken so far. We're gonna remove these steps and go back to the source file. Now that we're back to the source file, I'm gonna highlight these three columns furthest to the right and press delete because they're not needed. Then I'll click this icon to expand the data within the table. Here I can just click OK. You'll notice that both tabs have column headers, so those are appearing as rows within my spreadsheet. To solve for this, let's click the Use First Rows as Headers button up here near the top. And then using the Filter dropdown, I'm gonna filter out any blank rows as well as the second row with my column headers. And then click OK. The final step I'll take is changing the January sales title here to instead say Month. After taking those steps, we can hit Close and Load. And team, check it out. Our data from both January sales and February sales has been combined into one spreadsheet. Now on my spreadsheet on the right, if I create a new tab, I'll duplicate the February sales tab and save my spreadsheet. I can go back to my spreadsheet on the right with the tabs combined and right click the data connection and select refresh. And this will load my additional tab. Now let's take a look at how to combine multiple Excel files into one Excel file in a dynamic way. Starting with a new workbook, again, we'll go to the data tab at the top, select get data, from file, but this time we'll select from folder. I'll select the folder with the files I wanna combine and click open. As you can see, Excel has located both my Excel files that I wanna combine. Here, I can just select the combine dropdown and click combine and load. On the combine files dialog box, I can select sheet one and click okay. And team, check it out. Excel has combined both my February sales and January sales workbooks into a single tab. Now, if I create another workbook, for this example, I'll just duplicate January sales and rename this to March sales workbook and click OK. Now, if I just click the refresh button located here at the top, you'll see my March sales workbook that I created has been loaded as well. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.